Okay, uh, we've got some pieces ready to go here. These are 50 to 55, so these are rapidly approaching the hardness of the tool. So uh, we're expecting some failures here. And I thought I'd, I went ahead and blew these out with an air hose, and I'm trying to get that to focus in there. It's not going to do it. There it is. Let's you take a look at those cutting edges. You can see them. I'm just rotating it so you can catch it, let the light catch it. So we've worn away the coating, and uh, the cutting edge is still good. Uh, that is the Titan. Let it focus and bring it in a little bit. There's your failure right there. You can see the cutting edge is actually deformed. There's a better view of it there. So this one went, went to full failure on that one. The Amazon is, uh, you can definitely see the coating wear and you can see a little inkling of the cutting edge. We're all doing the same diameter stuff. And then let's look at the ox. This one's holding up pretty well. My only gripe with this tool is uh, it doesn't have any slots in it so you can't view your progress. Cutting edges seem to be holding up very well. We're just barely getting through the coating. Cutting edges still look pretty darn good and we got more of them. So your, your tool pressures can be a little lower to get the same result. Okay, um, like I said, 50 to 55 Rockwell. We're gonna get these clamped in and run it again. Okay, onto the Titan, 50 to 55. Uh, let's roll with it. Considerably more pressure to get to break through, but we're getting it. Okay. You know, I, I haven't even considered this, but a small amount of cutting fluid would uh, probably aid in all this, but all things being equal, we're gonna keep it dry. Yeah. But a, a little bit of uh, cutting lubricant might add to your tool life. Might make a mess too. But, uh, but in the field, we're gonna do that, right? Now, we, we pretty much killed this Uniburr in the last one, but we're gonna go ahead and run it in. And the thing about a chamfer tool like this, or even a, even a countersink, you know, if you wear it out in one spot, it's still good for some other spots, so. Even if you kill this for half inch, it'd probably be fine on three eighths or, or something else. So anyways, let's, uh, same technique, same everything. She's squealing already. I'm pushing pretty damn hard. That's all I got for pressure. Yeah. Yeah. That tool's done on half inch. That Uniburr is not going to go anymore. And... Amazonian. Back to our Amazon. Let's see how we do here. She's taking quite a bit of pressure. I can't get, I don't know if you can see that. I got a, I got a pretty good burr right there. I cannot get rid of. It's not doing anything. That tool's done. Okay, two down. I expect this one to hold up uh, pretty well if that's truly high-speed steel in there and not just uh, some kind of hardening steel or high-grade uh, chrome oil. Sure is pretty good. jumpy. Oh, it's got a got a burst, an up sticker right there. Holy moly! Tool's okay. She finally smoothed out. Okay. Let's see how we do with Bordeaux. We've only killed two so far. That's pretty good. We've got three uh, that are still hanging in there as far as durability goes. Wow, that could... Nice.